today we've got the Nissan R390 GT1 GP. It's also the car for stage five of the Jakuma special event. I don't care about this car. I don't need it to get the Jakuma. And so investing in it is a illogical thing to do. People will want the next GP car more because it will be a D-Class King. However, a D-Class King is still worthless. But regardless, I'm going to play the GP. I just have to make sure to sandbag because I don't want to have to spend anything on the actual car. And I don't, I don't mind not getting the key. I just have to play through to collect all the free blueprints. So what do you have to do today? Three jumps, beat 132. Let's let the car drive itself around at stock and see what time it makes. But we need to... What, I didn't, I, I've already forgotten what the challenges were. Was one just three jumps? I'm just going to let the car drive itself around. Just to set a benchmark time. I'll, I'll take the path though. Spin. Land. We're at 25%. But I didn't mean to go that way. Thirty at thirty three, one thirty, yeah. Just actually, I'm timing it now. Seventy five per cent behind at one minute to speed up. way behind I don't want to go too fast and have a hard qualifying group and then and then have to push my tier high to get in I want to drive really badly be tier 5 oh they're perfect 130 that's bad enough so there I've, I've unlocked three objectives now I just wait for qualifying, then drive slowly in qualifying. But I will have to beat what time? What's the minimum time here? 128. So you're forced to go a lap faster than 128 just to collect these blueprints, and these blueprints are worth it. So after qualifying, I'll aim for a lap just, just quicker than 128. but I don't need the car for the Jakuma. It's got a good top speed. It's going to be a great slipstream car, but it's still not that useful. It's a B class, isn't it? Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you.